Ruth Gantman, founder of Nurtured by Nature. Welcome to Business Profiles. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Happy to be here. It's my it's my pleasure. Now, Nurtured by Nature is is an holistic health coaching service. My first question is uh, for our viewers: uh, define holistic for us. Oh, that's a really good way to start because yeah. holistic has to do with your whole being, your whole body, and we want to when we're dealing with your health, yeah. deal with everything. Mm -hmm. Your mind, body, spirit, things that are going on, not just in one part of your body, but maybe in another that may be affecting your digestion, your breathing, your perception, and so on. So holistic yeah. means all of you. I whole, wasn't sure whole. exactly what it meant, but it sounds healthy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your vision as the founder of Nurtured by Nature. Tell us a little a bit about your mission. Nurtured by Nature is a holistic health counseling service that's set up to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. And what I, what I specifically do is tailor a program. I sculpt who you are nutritionally. Mm -hmm. So when we do our first consultation, which is a free consultation, mm -hmm. we set up who you are. What do you need in terms of your supplements? what's going on in your body, what's going on in your DNA, what do you have in your past, what do you have in your future? How can we prevent something from happening? And then basically focus on your wellness projection. How do mm. we get you well from this point on so that we offer a well span for your lifespan? And your job is basically to guide them towards a healthier lifestyle. Yes, my job is to guide them toward a healthier lifestyle by listening to how they are actually living. <laughs> so everybody knows to eat more fruits and vegetables. The truth of the matter is that we are emotional beings. Yep. So if we are going to feel satisfied, we need to know what makes us feel satisfied mm -hmm. and we need to know what's nutritional as well. So you actually want to activate your leptin hormone to make you feel mm. as if it's worked, you're satisfied and yeah, you can stop, yeah. otherwise you'll keep going. And yeah. process eating can be a problem because uh, if you say to yourself, I can have that, in Weight Watchers you can have uh, popcorn, Yeah. but no one has a handful of popcorn or the cup <laughs> of popcorn. <laughs> People have a tub. A time with popcorn, <laughs> five minutes with popcorn, or ten minutes with popcorn, or a movie with popcorn. Right. And when you eat with time, you're really going to eat a lot of food. Sure. So it's about focus. When you eat, you have to focus. Right. Now, you've made a career out of being a health coach. Yes. How would you define health coach? A health coach is someone who offers you tools through understanding and knowledge, support, mm -hmm which is getting you from one point to another by your identifying your goals oh. and accountability so that you can actually achieve those goals. And we do it in, in this way. When we first are together, we set up what your goals actually are. Sure. And then we do the first three months and then the second three months. And then when we get to the first three month mark, I assess where you are. You get a written report as yeah. if you were in school. Right. And uh. you assess yourself as yeah. well. And then we progress and learn from who you are, where we go next sure. to achieve the rest of the goals. Yeah. Uh, why, why does a person, or, or why would I need a health coach? Why can't I do it on my own? I like that. <laughs> that that's good. Because uh, you look very healthy. And my specialty is wellness and anti-aging. So what I would do with well, you in particular is I would work with you on an anti-aging program. And that's from the inside out. How do we build your cells so that you have the antioxidants that you need to fight the free radicals that are constantly attacking you? And Mickey, what are you doing to yourself that's right. causing aging? Sure, sure. Yeah, how many years have you been uh, doing uh, health coaching? Um, I've been in the wellness industry mm -hmm. for seven years. Mm -hmm. I was diagnosed seven years ago. I, I had a difficult menopause. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I went to my doctor and my doctor said, gave me medication mm -hmm. and I did not respond well to that medication, to your point. Yeah, yeah. And my uterus swelled to about seven months pregnancy, which means oh, for a goodness. little girl like me, I looked like either I was malnourished or pregnant. Yeah. Neither of which was true and really odd for my age. 
So when I went to him and he said, okay, well, I think what we should do is take your uterus. Oh, my goodness. I thought, head for the hills. Yeah. And I just yeah. wanted to get out of there. And then I started to look for the holistic path. And when I found the holistic path, I found bioidentical hormones. And by the way, I am a specialist on menopause for women who are going through that. I'm a mm -hmm. perfect person because I've been through you live it. it. I've lived it. Yeah. And, I, and I know what the alternatives are. Yep. And at the time, I set up a website called Menopause Symptoms and Solutions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I associated with holistic doctors and authors who were groundbreaking in the material that they were finding. And then I offered it to my audience. Wow. Well, I was going to ask you what inspired you uh, to become a health coach. Uh, obviously, this was one of the reasons. Were there others? Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm old enough to be sitting in this chair and have lost four of my best friends. One to pancreatic cancer, one to alcoholism, one to uh, gluttony, um, and, and one to um, leukemia. Mm -hmm. So when you have that very close to you and it's your core group, you yeah. really start to think very seriously about your health and keeping things on the right path moment to moment because you may not have another chance. It's all about doing the right thing for yourself for the day, you know, setting yourself yeah. up correctly yeah. for the day. How many times a day do you um, drink water? How many right. times a day are you walking or moving, getting away from your computer? Are you working out? Are you eating healthy? Like that. Now, millions of baby boomers, they want to know, how can I protect myself from aging badly? Because they're all concerned about it. Yes, and you can protect yourself can from you? aging. Yes, you can. First of all, through nutrition. Some of the things you want to avoid. You want to avoid food that's been on the shelf for three or more months. You know that cannot be good for you. It's filled with all kinds of preservatives. So if you have to read the box in order to decide whether or not you want to buy it, put it back. <laughs> like a Twinkie. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's a short shelf life. So things that have a long shelf life are dangerous, so you sure. don't want to do that. Yeah. Fried foods are another thing you Fr want to yeah, avoid. We, and yeah, fast foods? All of that, all those fast food, fatty foods, th things that have chemicals in them. Your body doesn't know what to do with it. And when it doesn't know what to do with it, there are some things that it does. It'll add it as fat. You can, yeah. It'll just make yeah. you fat because it says, oh my God, what is it? We may need this later. I don't know what it is, but let's <laughs> save it. Yeah. Or it can really start That's... to destroy tissue. But, but why do most diets fail? You okay. to, if you uh, go on... It just appears on, that way No, no. Me. What happens is you, you don't maintain the success. That's the problem. It's a yo-yo effect. Yeah. You, you can succeed. I mean, all these diets are popular because you can, in fact, lose weight. If you stop eating, you're going to lose weight. Right. Or if you stop eating bad things or things that are inappropriate or, you know, get on the right path, you're yeah. going to lose weight. But right. what happens is when you go off that diet, then you say... Where is that pepperoni pizza that I haven't had for six months? I want that. Where are those french fries? Get me a Nathan's. You want all those things that you've said you can't have, and then yeah. you start to put it back on. And the, the process, my process works because this is about behavior modification. It puts you in charge. You're in focus. You realize what you're doing. So you can say, I either want that or I don't, but you're yeah. mindful. And when you're mindful and you're in charge, you won't put the weight back on. I'm confused, and I'm sure a lot of our viewers are as well, but explain to us what the good fats are and the bad fats for cholesterol, because I still don't know. Okay, so let's talk about cholesterol first. Yeah. So your cell needs cholesterol in order to make it to regenerate. So mm. it needs that oil, that, that fatty yeah. base, yeah. to make a nice, healthy cell. Yeah. So cholesterol is not a dirty word. It's not a bad thing. It's a yeah. good thing. So there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol. So the good cholesterol is HDLs. So when your doctor says, well, you've got a high HDL, you yeah. say, that's okay, I'm okay with that. <laughs> if he says you have a high um, LDL, that's not okay. Lousy. Bad. Bad. So um, the, the H means it's high density, it's a fatter molecule, and, and L means it's low density. And low density means that they um, uh, are small and latch on to each other and cause a problem. Okay, right. so the, the good fats are yeah. 
avocado, ah. olive oil, nuts, seeds, cheese, has some good fat in it. Yeah. Okay. Not, I'm not saying eat a lot of cheese, but you know. But you should know what the good and the bad are within your diet, I would think. Right. And bad fats are the trans fats, the trans fats oils, those kinds of things. Yeah. Um, processed foods. Uh, <laughs> Back to the Twinkies. Yeah, those Twinkies. <laughs> like that. Now, I've heard the term used many times, and maybe you can help us define what, what they are. Uh, and the term is superfoods. Right. Uh, exactly what are they and how do they work? Okay, it, I, you know, it's a fun thing to call a food a superfood. All really healthy food is going to be a superfood for you. So what you want in terms of a superfood is a food that's going, going to provide you with antioxidants. Uh -huh, I've heard and, that a lot. And the antioxidants are the ones that uh, give you that plump cell. Yep. So wh what are they? If vitamin A, vitamin E, beta carotene, selenium. So you want those vegetables that give you all of those vitamins and it's blueberries, spinach, uh, papaya, eat, spinach. eat your spinach, kale's wonderful, yeah. all those leafy greens are going to be terrific. I mean we can make them exotic and have you sure. uh, yeah. look for something like asahi berries but yeah. you're, that's not yeah. accessible to you but blueberry now, is. What is the best time of the day to eat a big meal? Midday. Is it? Midday is the best time of the day. Not to... at seven at night. No. When you get home from work. No. Well, think about it. What do you do at yeah, you seven? You sit on the couch, watch TV. Likely, the only thing you do is <laughs> with your thumb, pressing the remote. So you want to set yourself up so that when you've eaten your biggest meal, right. you ha you're giving your body its greatest challenge. So are you going to then go take a meeting that's stressful, have yeah, a big yeah, and eat something yeah. nutritious? Are you going to go work out and ride your bike for three miles? Right. That would be great because yeah, right. then you're burning, burning all the calories. Burning the, the calories, right. Realistically, why is it important to eat organic foods uh, when you're on a diet? Okay, so it's important to eat organic because it's going to um, render the fruit or the vegetable in its mm -hmm. most pure state. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to have yeah, the, all the things pesticides. We and um, preservatives. Preservatives. Yeah. Also, it's genuinely going to taste better. It, you know, do your own taste test. Sure. Have a box of strawberries that are organic, right. and a box of strawberries that are not, and, 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 and see for yourself which one tastes better. And, and just for our viewers, define organic. Organic. Organic is uh, a process by which it's grown where they don't use pesticides. Simple as that. Very good. And where would you find uh, organic foods being sold? You know, they're being sold more and more um, readily in your local supermarkets. I mean, I, I could say go to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, uh, but you really don't have to. In Hoboken, where I live, I go around the corner to King's, and I just look for whatever they have that's organic, and I buy that. It doesn't have to be an out of the, it doesn't have to be anything that you wouldn't ordinarily do. It's just a, a refocusing of how you live. Sure. Now, you deal with all kinds of people. Uh, what is your, ba as a health coach, your basic philosophy uh, on dealing with your clients? My basic philosophy is that it's a one-on-one -on -one support, tools, accountability program that is about changing your behavior. My philosophy is that we are biodiverse, we're completely different. Sure. So understanding who you are and what you need is my first call to action. Mm -hmm. I have to really hear you. So what makes me different and what makes me different from other people is that I really can hear you. I, I do get my signals from you and we move on from there. So even though I have at my disposal a uh, hundred different dietary ways of getting you to be your best healthy self, mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. I need to hear is what does Mickey Burns really need? How does yeah. he really live? Yeah. How, what's his day like? How long is his day? Mm -hmm. What are his breaks? How long is it between meals? What's on the horizon for him? Sure. What's gone behind him? What do we need to look out for? And what are his health concerns? So that's how I set up my, my program. Uh, right. As a health coach, what's the best part of what, of what you do? You know, the best part of what I do is that um, I love my clients <laughs> yeah. and they love me back 
And I used to be a teacher for a number of years, and I loved my students, and they loved me back. So it gives me what I miss about that life. It gives me that emotional element. It's very rich. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by today. It was informative and inspiring. And uh, of course, you're Ruth Gantman, and you are the founder of Nurtured by Nature. And if people want to find you on the web, how can they do so? Yeah, please look for me at www.nurture-by-nature.com, or you can Google me, Ruth Gantman, and it'll come up under Google. Right. Well, you're a, you're a holistic health coach, and that's what your service is, and that's what Nurtured by Nature is, and we wish you best of luck with that and continue, continue with the great work. Thank you so much. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.